YouTube, what's up? It's me, Crazy Can Be, and I'm back again. And in matter of fact, let's not waste any time. And today I'm going to talk about the Avengers film. I actually saw it today, um, Sunday, but I'll probably upload this Monday or Tuesday, so it'll probably be like two or three days before I saw it. But um, the Avengers film, there's been a lot of noise about this film. You know, Marvel has been working on this film for quite a long time. This film has been in production and planning for quite some time. And basically the plan was that they were going to make a lot of superhero films and the spe specific superhero films will be connected to the Avenger thing and they would always at the end of the movie they'll give like hints about the film and then you know finally you know the film has been released and you know there's, there's a lot of hype people are saying the movie is really good you know and you know sometimes you can't really always believe the hype because sometimes you go see something really hyped up and you end up, it not, you end up being disappointed because no, it's not what it was cracked up to be, but was that the case with the Avengers? Mm. So, I I go to the theater, movie theater, and you know it's never usually packed. It hasn't been packed in a long time because you know films are not sound like they used to sell. And my goodness, the thing is packed. It's so hard to find parking and things like that. I go inside. I go to the front, and I have to wait outside because there already there's so many people inside. So we get to the um the ticket booth and you know there's a 930 showing in 3D and it's a regular showing 910. I want to do I went for 2D because 3D I I'll probably explain some other video like 3D to me is not that great. I'll tell you my reasons later, maybe in another video, but so we get there and of course the theater room is packed. And you know when you go to the movie theater, right? There's like the left, the middle, and the right, the big movie theater. You know when you see like a hot movie, that's going to be a real good movie. You think, you know, anticipate movie, like a hype movie. You want to sit in the middle, the middle row. And not only you want to sit in the middle row, you want to sit there in the middle. So, I make way and, you know, you know excuse me, excuse me. You know, so, I finally get the right spot, the perfect spot. And, well, out of the bat, this movie really live up to the hype. Yes, the movie lives off to the hype. This movie is legit. Years of years of planning finally paid off. This film, you know, people are saying the movie is really good. Saying it's one of the best superhero films to come out. And it's true. It really is. All right, let me just give you like a brief background of this, what the film is about. I'm not really going to spoil it. I'm not one of those dudes that really spoil. Like spoil and tell you who who's doing what. But let me just say that the film... Pretty much takes place shortly after the events of um tour if you've seen tour and basically a character from that film returns and he kind of you know he comes to earth to kind of wreak havoc and but he's basically the callous he basically set up the callous of events that was going to happen next and he basically sets into tone the avenger film the avenger is really about the assemblies of all these superhero superhero forces that are larger than Earth, you know, regular humans, special force, you know. What I really like about the Avengers, you know, the Avengers as a whole is that it's not just a bunch of people with superpowers. It's also people with like special abilities, you know, like unique abilities like Hawkeye, you know, he's like a he's a sniper basically, you know, Black Widow, she's like a espionage spy. He does S man all that stuff, you know, and you know Captain America, Hawk, Iron Man. There was an Ant Man they were in Avengers Rage, but I'm glad they didn't put him in the movie because the Ant Man, the ability to shrink is one of the shittiest powers ever made. But round the bad the movie is is spends a good majority of the part trying to establish, you know, where all these characters really belong. Like, you know, they all split up in like different parts of the world and they all force by force to gather together because this this event is going to can destroy the whole threatens the whole fabric of time and space so you know at first you know they're going to gather together of course you're not going to agree and you're going to understand this is not a very easy thing to do for live action you know you, you know you do like a movie live action film the superhero takes up so much time it's like six to seven heroes together like the same room and you don't find out how to really mask the time between each because each character is so important because you know it's the Avengers it's like a group it's like a super super group you know like it's kind of like Wu-Tang but all these like 
good rappers and how do they split up the time to record their verse, you know, stuff like that. So it's like really interesting what they did, you know, and they read really, everybody got their own screen time and every character is well fleshed out. You're gonna love everybody. Yeah. Everyone's favorite, you know, everyone's talking about the Hawk and the Hawk, they really did the Hawk justice. They got a new actor, but the actor they got, he really looks like the Hawk, you know, when he turns back, you know you can so it really looks nice. But yeah, you know <clears throat> Overall, it's, it's a long movie. It's not a short movie because they do spend a lot of time really trying to establish what is going on, who these guys are, and after they get rid of, they finish doing the establishing and they finally come together to do what they have to do. It the movie really takes off and it really you really see the dynamic of the film. And it, it's just it's just a good exciting ride. It's just fun, you know, like see all these heroes doing different things, using their abilities. To their best of their ability, the, the abilities to their, to, to their advantage and how they use it to combat certain situations. It's just you know, cool. Well, I think the big star was the Hulk. The Hulk, you know, the Hulk and Iron Man. They really, they have this dynamic with each other. It really worked, you know, and I really enjoyed it for that. But yeah, you know, overall, the film really is legit. Honestly, you know, it really, it really does live up to the hype. And, if you haven't seen it yet, you know, go check it out. Mm, go check it out. Yeah. And I believe they are, I think they're gonna make a, I'm sure they're gonna make a second one because, I mean, you already established the heroes, you know, they, they did what they little, you know, their little thing, and now, you know, you gotta give them, like, more action screen time, you know. It'll be a crime not to make a second one. So anyway, anyway, guys, take it easy. I'll see you guys next time.